the... Yeah, I think I have a game in front of y'all. Left click, I'll take up there. Pick up a puzzle, a puzzle to glory kill it. The Looker is like a first person puzzle game that goes by very quickly. It's not a long game, besides the load screen. Play this for a little bit and hang out. But I am excited for the next week. We've got a photo shoot coming up on Sunday. I've got to send out some outfit ideas to the photographer. First time shooting with this person, so that's going to be excited. Uh, I may potentially bring a common Rider belt with me, so that way I can wear it out there and and rock it, and maybe get a couple uh, photos of uh, of it. Quickly show you all a little bit of a secret. If you go the opposite intended direction, you'll run into this. Click and drag the mouse and draw on the screen. So that's where you can not do anything here. You can pick up the ammunition, pick up the health, and this is where you would erase your save file. If you ever finish the game and you want to start over, that's what you do it. But we don't want to do that. But ideally, this is meant to be a joke game on the the witness. So it doesn't explain anything to you. Just present something in front of you with the controls that you have. And if you were curious, you can't do anything from there. But you can connect them still. You can follow the rules, stay within the lines. Nice. Again, easy game. When you finally come out here, again, this is exactly almost like The Witness. A beautiful area. It has a lot of non-interactable items, but puzzles you can get to. Super easy, right? And just... follow through and solve the game's puzzles as you traverse through this intricate world of random items. And you can't go there. And... Oh, there we go. Start end. Goes up there. How to listen to the items. Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home. And even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. A fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head. And when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. <laughs> Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. Do not come in. Stop. Thank you for your understanding. Ha. Huh. Nope. Don't like that. Ooh, this is where it turns into Silent Hill.
Let's connect them. Oh, the night's gone. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's do this. Expensive. Please do not scratch. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Intricate puzzle. How would one solve this with a gun? I am so smart. Oh, dude, this is a nice looking area, too. Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave, and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's, like, blue gravity and yellow gravity. And then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but, like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be Ultraviolet Girl, and she has super speed, so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. That sounded like an amazing story. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event, or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request, which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Forget how this one gets solved. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fischer. No. 
so start and night we'll get that the rook will go up to the point and then there we go check me Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art a ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that the ship should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Truly this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is always trying to get one of them, the little guy. Big Further, ship. we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism, and the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. What the hell was I talking about? Jesus. Ah. Okay, so it's like playing snake. Yeah, I've got to make the line so I don't overlap too much. So I have enough to...
Oh, okay, good. Gives me a way out. That gives it powered out there. Just avoid all that. Or again. There we go. Let's get this sped up a little bit, y'all. Oh, that's right. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding, better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles, for trucks tougher than a drunk marine come to Mike's pre-owned, where we do the things that get things done. All right. <laughs> So, why we wanted that to stop, actually, is because if you didn't listen, because you weren't paying attention, because you wouldn't have known, there's no end. So the ending actually is somewhere in here, so you have to listen. Beep. Beep. You're right there. I mean, beep. Beep. Come on. Beep. 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 Yes, beep. 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 There we go. And that's how you would be able to solve that puzzle. This one. They were really close. To beating this game, by the way. I want you to know, that's the crazy part about that. This game itself is super short, it's only 30 minutes long. So I was actually debating about playing this. In the meantime, it was like, oh, if we had too many uh, uh, commercials, maybe I'll do something else. You got a kid's menu, all you do. Makes you want to have some Long John Silvers. Okay, so that pops out. 
You come over here. Oh, so you have the S that's right here. And then you have the E that's right here. And my way of solving puzzles is just going in through the left, but I think you're supposed to go through the right. So you leave. I think we'll make it. Nope. And I think I know where I goof because it's going to be back to the entrance. Okay, yeah. This way. This way. This way. Take right. Forward here. Zigzag. Ramp. Continue forward. took me back to where I was. Alright, follow the left wall. so royally. This is the entrance. Ah. Okay. Left wall trick. Shkaboom. Shkaboom. So bam, so follow the left wall. Let's me zigzag all the way this way and go there. And again, you're already at this location. So the left wall trick does not work. So I see the house right there that I need to get into. And then this leads me right back into that. But this is like the only way
Oh yeah, this one is gonna be hard, so. So that was So what if I do it this way then? Oh yeah, it is. But these are already the puzzles that I've solved. So why is it having me do it again? Unless when I already solved it, then that's it. Now I can leave. Oh yeah. Go on, get. Don't look at me. Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. It was June the 8th, 1947. Gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. My hints were subtle too, real subtle. Back then, they said good old hint button. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. Then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. all the common sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee. I used 
rope to tie my pants and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does until one day, after stealing the socks off the fireplace, I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. Now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. Huh. I feel like I'm missing one. suck. This is one of the achievements that I missed. I don't think you can go to that house. It's got its moments. I will say that I had to Google search a few of the puzzles when I started my first run. Oh yeah, you don't see this part. It's 
so... Okay, now that that has power... I go up here. And... I don't remember. But I'm gonna guess it's never... Guess it was this? No. Okay, so. What if we go one? Let's go here. Yeah, I thought I got, actually did that right. No, I didn't. I didn't go this one first. That's where I'm messing up. It goes one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, I miss that symbol completely. There we go. Like I said, some are challenging.
There we go. And the game is done. The obelisk, the obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of light. Do you see it? The obelisk of knowledge. The stones. What? The, the, the stones. The stones of reflection. The stones of reflection. The true shape. Oh wait, it's a giant cop. <laughs> There is the game! A game by Bradley Lovell. Welcome to the Looker. And that will be the end of the stream. <laughs> the game was a very long dick joke. That is how we end a stream. <laughs> There's a bit of a longer scene that is also a joke to the witness, which has like a hidden ending, which I guess we can just see it considering we're already here. Congus Bungus. Dude, I had a great time on the stream today. Nice to get it going again. Good, good times, good laughs. Definitely excited to see some of the uh, comments and uh, shares that we got. Physics, 1939 to 1949. Hey, Rasmus. Easy one. <laughs> Think outside the box. Big bad maze book. Ah, one more puzzle before retirement. And that, my friend, is the stream. The looker. The game. The stream. The commercials. That was a great time. So thank you again for coming on by. Thank you again for making the commercials, the playlist. Uh, any other type of content that you're excited for me to check out, just let me know. And uh, if I can, I'll put it aside and start working on it. I've got a little bit of some stuff to work uh, look forward to. Again, like I was mentioning, we have the Fighting Armor, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Thor, and Loki coming uh, out pretty soon. And oh, thank you again for watching, my man. This is it's, it's a lot more enjoyable when I have people that are here to, uh, to share it with. So I will see you all soon. I got my puppies! coming on in and I'll uh I'll see you then y'all take it easy <laughs>